the race uh, to use AI to potentially cure diseases is already underway. Billions of dollars has been poured into AI-first biotechs. I have to ask you, what are your thoughts? Are we going to be able to see AI at one point cure cancer and, and other diseases? And how far away could this be? Well, that's certainly the dream, and it's the dream that every startup right now is pitching to their investors around the world, and it's a dream mm. that, of course, we all hope is going to come true. Of course. Uh, I certainly think that there's a hope and then there's a reality. The hope is that this technology is advancing at such a rapid rate. It's already being used, and I've seen it in some consulting work that I've been doing recently across biotech companies, across pharma companies, but across every company, really. Uh, because what AI really is, and I think to put it very simply, it is a data crunching machine. It takes an input of data and then it outputs it, you know, does the human grunt work of going through that data that used to take many, many years, and it spits out an output which we hope is going to be useful. Now, at the moment, it's still in its primary stage. It still hasn't done anything to say, wow, this is going to change the world. Uh, but we could be a few years away, and I certainly think with the rate of advancement, a few years away from it really having a major impact on medicines mm. and, you know, ultimately, hopefully, a cure to the ultimate disease of cancer. Absolutely incredible. Rian Al, former lead of AI and innovation at the Turner Institute, thank you so much for joining us on Power Hour. It's been great to talk to you. Great as always, Gabriella. Thank you.